Okay, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on when you're seeing my video. Welcome to my channel again. If you're new to my channel, please do wait to subscribe. I always want you to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell. Okay, in this video, we are looking at two important things. One of them is P2B. P2B, P2B just shot an obedient family, you know, over the push he made on social media on on Monday. You know, Peter B is supposed to be celebrating his birthday, you know, he's supposed to be celebrating his 22nd birthday tomorrow, being uh, 19th day of July, 2023. But Peter B told his fans, I'm not celebrating it. So his fans are, you know, they are worried. Why did you want, why is it you don't want to celebrate? He said, no, I don't want to celebrate my birthday in this kind of Nigeria, that he wants to celebrate his birthday in a country where everything is working very well, where people are living fine, where people are living comfortably, where people are happy, you know, with everything happening in the country. We are not a country where nothing is working, you know. So, in a post he made on social media, let me just read it. As you can see by the side of the screen, he said, Wednesday, 19th July, 2023, marks my 60th second birthday while i remain immensely grateful to god for his infinite mercies i still maintain my decision of over 20 years that i will not celebrate my birthday in today's nigeria with the current deplorable state of the nation he said however some friends members of the labor party and obedient family and supporters have asked me how they can join me in celebrating the, that day and even present some gifts let me humbly respectfully appeal to all those who desire to celebrate me with any kind of gift to look around to look around them and extend such gifts to the people in need especially in these difficult times i urge them to visit hospitals orphanage and homes of the aged and people with disabilities and offer them such generous gifts. They can also visit schools of basic studies in remote areas and support them with the basic amenities they, see, they need. Now, he said many things that I want to read toward the end. He said, I want to celebrate in Nigeria that work for all kinds, that work for all, all and which Nigerians can be proud of. This and not my birthday is the true celebration that will be beneficial to Nigerians. As Nigerians, we must always expand our imagination of the possible, of the possible believing as we do, as we do, believing that as we do that, a new Nigeria is possible. So he said that he don't want to celebrate his birthday, and people are worried that he don't want to celebrate his birthday in Nigeria. He don't even want to celebrate it. He said this decision he has made for over 20 years that he's not going to be celebrating his birthday because of how Nigeria is. Now, however, he said that people should, if you want to celebrate him, please go to orphanage, go to hospital, go to schools in, in villages, and support them with whatever they need instead of celebrating him. So that is the kind of mindset that Nigerian leaders need to have. A mindset that you you think of the people first before you think of yourself. You know, that is a good leadership and not a country where people are just trying to reach themselves without talking of other people. So Nigeria needs people that can think, people that can... Uh, think of the citizens, people that can do everything they can to make sure that the country is good and working. Okay, away from P2B, now we're looking at, uh, there's a news I saw on social media, you know, every day things, uh, things go up, the commodities, everything in the country seems as if it's going up on, on daily basis. You know, and I don't know, God will help the country because the, the price of things in the market, if you are in the market, you agree with me that the price of goods is going up. You know, 
people selling in the market, they will tell you that every day things go up. Some of us that go to supermarket, you find out that every day the things, the prices are changing. The, the tag you see on this product today is not the tag you see when you come next time. You find out what you are buying 100 naira today in the supermarket. Next time you go to that place, you discover that the tag has been removed. They, they may add 50 naira, some of them they add 100 naira, some of them they add, I mean, uh, 150, depending, you know, that's the kind of country we are. Now, remember that the president removed when he when they swore him in on the 19th of May 2023. One of the th one of the things President Tinubu said was that he's going to remove subsidy. That he has removed subsidy, you know. And Nigerians, I mean, we are shouting of shouting, shouting that time. And things are going up every day since that time. Since he said remove the subsidy, the price of fuel went up, you know, price of commodities went up. Even dollar crashed the more, you know. Dollar, as of we are talking, dollar is around 800 and something naira. You know, things are going up every day. Now, there's something I saw and people are complaining. According to Yabatech, an NPC increases fuel pump, pump price. An NPC increases Fuel pump price from 537 naira to 617 naira per liter. Per liter. From 500 and something, now it has been pushed to 617 per liter. How do you think that small scale businesses will, will survive in the country? We are, we are working that during that small scale SMEs, we, we grow with you no. Know, this time around, how do you think? You know, Mr. President, how do you think the SMEs will strive? How do you think they will survive? When you are putting, so remember, there is no electricity in the country, no electricity, no power generation. Even where I am living, no power generation. Some of us, we generate, we, we do our work with fuel. Doing this video, I know what it cost me to do this video. You know, doing many things. Most of us working online, most of us doing businesses, so we know what it's costing us costing us to do business, yet we are not considered. Things are going up every day. Commodities are going up. Now, you're taking the price of fuel. People are saying that 537 naira was big. It's too much. 537 naira was too much. Now, and then PC, in, I mean, push the price again from 537 naira to 617 naira. What kind of country are we living in? So we need leaders that can think, leaders that can give us, that can make the country a better place for us. I don't have more to say. We have many things. I will pray that God give our president the wisdom to pilot this country, the affairs of this country, because based on what we are seeing, we don't know what the projection. The other day I, I heard over the television that the, the projection that by next year, Nigerians will, will record about 7.5 million more people that will live in uh, poverty. And I pray it's not, it will never be my portion. I'm we're not going to be poor. I'll keep saying it. So thank you for watching my video. Please do well to like my video, subscribe to my channel, and on the notification bell. What do you think about this video? What do you think about Peter B saying that he's not celebrating his birthday? And also, what do you think of... Uh, concerning the NNPC pushing the fuel, uh, fuel from 537 naira to 617 naira per liter. Thank you for watching my video. Please go to the comment section and give us your reaction. See you in the next video. Have a nice day.